Back nine, you made the, the par there at 11. It seemed to fire you up. Did that give you some confidence? It did. It did. You know, I was, uh, of all the tee shots, um, I've been kind of hitting them straight right, and then all of a sudden I said, I'm missing that one go. But he, uh, of course, I hit in the water. Um, the three was there. I, I don't know how I hit it that far because I had uh, 267 to the hole, and I hit about 290 into the wind. I don't know how I did that. So I'd like to know so I can repeat it. Uh, going forward, but uh, that was a, a pretty sweet up and down, and it kind of got things going. Other questions? Well, Jack, what were you most pleased with today, and what were you most displeased with today? Uh, obviously, displeased the way I drove it. I mean, Brad were good again. Uh, kept spinning the ball, and um, you had to go go fix that. But uh, uh, the putting was great today. I had a great feel for the pace. Um, even the putts I missed had that kind of going look, and they were right around the hole. What uh, you worked on the range after you went out yesterday? And were you happy when you when you left the range yesterday? Yeah, I was very happy and had a great warm up this morning. I, I basically I hit my irons pretty good all day. Um, I just wasn't driving very good. And, uh, something we need to we need to work on. And what, why don't you feel well? What's wrong? With I just kept spinning. I mean, what, you said you're not feeling well. No, no, I'm feeling fine. Oh, I'm okay. just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some food on me. Oh, okay. All right, glad you're Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger, this is the second straight event that you're grinding over a putt on the 36th hole to make the cut. What do you need to do to take it to the next level and be contending instead of making cuts? Uh, play more tournaments. Okay. I mean, this is my, my fifth event, and this is June. So obviously, I need to play more, but um, uh, at least I was able to make those putts. So it's, it's a positive sign. Uh, now I just need to put myself in the position where those putts are to win tournaments. About to make cuts. Tiger, hey, you feel good? I mean, do you feel like you're gaining on it? I am. I'm, we're, we're making progress. Um, progress, however, however slow, is still progress. And uh, I'm, I'm creeping off on it. But uh, I, I need to put a few more pieces together to really, really get it going. Right. So, Tiger, do you feel that you want to maybe scale back a little bit and just get it in the fairway sometimes, even with a long iron or something, just to get it in the fairways when you're missing? So well, it's the pattern. I mean, I can revert back and do whatever what I used to do, no problem, and get it in play. But the problem is that then brings in the old pattern. So what's the point of going forward? Um, the whole idea of, of going forward, you got to be able to do it on the golf course, even if it's bad. Um, get it out there, feel it, see what it feels like, and we make the adjustments and go forward from there. Tiger, how has it been at home? You know, practicing, playing. I mean, it, do, is it comfortable there, and it's just a matter of not getting it from there to here? Um, it's been. In, in spurts, my, I've probably hit it better here than I have at home. Uh, at home, it's, it, it comes and goes. Um, I get in the little hot streaks where I hit it great, and also periods where I really hit it a lot worse than I do out here. And I think that has lots of good concentration, too. Second shot on the fifth hole. Uh, ten <laughs> sounds solid, and you one hop the creek. How yeah. fortunate was that? Very lucky. Um, I, I had a terrible lie there, and I took out six iron. And, uh, it was only 80 yards to carry, and I didn't know if I could carry it. Uh, the, lie, the lie was so bad, and I, f I figured I'd just take a chance. I'd open it way up. I chopped on it to try and get some kind of some kind of ball that would kind of squirt up, and it didn't. It uh, I didn't get to, I didn't even get to the golf ball. I just smothered it, and for it to one hop was was <laughs> very very lucky. It should be wet. What kind of options do you have? Uh, left to 15. How many different plays? Left to 15? No. Besides none. Maybe, none. But now that you have to hit the shot, what do you have to go? I mean, Patrick tried to. No, he had a terrible lie. His, yeah. his blood ball was, was awful. Um, he was in the green and the lie. And he had to take a chance of trying to just run it on the green, or if you, know, you, try, you fly it on, it's going to be over the back, and then you have to chip back. He figured if he got it. You know, somewhat close to green, and you'd have a decent lie to get it close from there. You basically you're playing. You, you can't from where he was. You can't play to hit the green. You're playing either go lay up short or go long and pitch back. Is it more of a barometer what you're working on when you're here, a place like where you've had so much success? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I I, I felt like you know today was I made some progress from yesterday, and now I need to go work on it again and make some progress tomorrow and uh, keep keep building it. And um, you know, hopefully it all come together this weekend, and if not, you know, two weeks from now. What, what adjustments <coughs> have you made? What adjustments have you made <coughs> putting? Because it's, it seems clear that your putting is a lot better than 
than had been? What, what have you done differently or gone back to? I think it's my, as we've evolved in the, the release pattern, um, you, know, the, you know, you have this continuity. And I, for some reason, I, I feel like I'm, re I'm releasing the club and my sandwich and my putter and everything's kind of starting to release the same way. And, and so it, it's a familiar feeling. And I don't know, for some reason, I'm getting over it and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, great. Thanks, sir. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Go eat. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs>